Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm going ahead and doing a haul from all sorts of different places and um, all sorts of bits and pieces that I have, but I thought that it was kind of interesting what I found. So I thought that I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. And today I did go ahead and use the Super Goop Glow Oil SPF 50. And then I did go ahead and mix the CoverGirls uh, Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. I have mine in Fair with the Maybelline Superstay C Plus. And so I have both of these on as my foundation today. And then I also have the e.l.f. and um, this is actually one of their camo concealers, the hydrating one. And I got light rosy, which I think is their lightest color. Even on me, this is too light. But the reason why I got this is because if you take a look at my eyes today, I have uh, pastels on. And pastels are really hard to formulate. Uh, they're really light. They're difficult to get to show up. And so if you put a white base underneath, you can use like a white cream shadow or a concealer or something or a eye primer with a white base. It's supposed to go ahead and make the pastel colors pop a little bit more. And so um, to go ahead and we'll go through the rest of the face and then we'll come back to uh, the eyes in just a second here. Uh, but I did go ahead and do the MAC and um, this is a bronzer and light radiant rosy. So that's what I have on there. Some of my favorites, also the e.l.f. This is the mauve uh, color and that's uh, what I have on the cheeks there. Did go ahead and use the highlighter from Hard Candy. This is a Trefoils one and it is actually, um, Hard Candy is sold over at Walmart. They did a collab with the Girl Scouts of America who are doing makeup this year and so this highlighter is really good. They have a couple of highlighters, some eyeshadows, some really good lip products, a whole bunch of different stuff. And um, as far as the actual mascara, I have the Falsies by Maybelline. Yeah, on there. And then the Glowish Powder in Fair. As far as what I have on the eyes, pastels are kind of being... They always come back in the spring because of Easter and everything. And I changed up all my stuff for Easter. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Um, I purchased. They don't provide. It's not PR or... It, it, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I paid for all of my decorations. I just think that Dollar Tree does a really good job. So um, I did go ahead and pick up a palette and it's one of the Nomad palettes. It's actually the Tokyo palette and it is a pastel palette. Um, right now and this is March of 2024. Uh, Nomad actually has these palettes on discount because they're discontinuing them. And so I got mine on the Nomad website. This is the way that the palette looks. It's really cute. And again, it's based on Tokyo and cats. And it, yeah, that's where the whole Hello Kitty thing came from. And so, um, yeah, I can see why they did this palette a pastel palette with cats it's just it's really cute and so um that's the way that the palette looks um i did go ahead and use this in my crease this is on the outer corner went ahead and used this one on the inner corner and then um i used this one on the lid i went ahead and used a little bit of this in the middle of the lid and then as far as my um Eyeliner on the bottom, I went ahead and used this one. And again, really pretty palette. I would definitely go ahead and suggest it. Um, as far as quality from Nomad, I really think their quality is usually outstanding. I haven't found anything actually from them that I didn't like. And um, the fact that they go ahead and, you know, they'll discount their palettes quite a lot when they're discontinuing them is a really good thing uh, for some of us and especially for some of us who wanted to get a pastel palette but um, 
it it just kind of worked out. I didn't think pastels were coming back as much as they were, but I wanted to have a pastel palette. So if anybody else is looking for one, they're available. Here's the way that the eye look came out. So that's the way that that worked. And actually, I do have a couple of um, other things that I got in my haul. Did pick up the NYX fat oil, and uh, today I have both of these on, so I have um, this one and this one on. That's the way that the lip turned out. Now, as far as my other haul, okay, I went over to Costco. For anybody who uses Bioderma, uh, they have these half off over at Costco, so instead of paying $30, you're paying $16. So it's not quite half off, but it's close. Um, another one that is over there is actually the Neutrogena oil. And um, I kind of go back and forth between those two. And that was on sale as well. Um, but I didn't pick that one up this time. Um, let's see. Excuse me, but there's no room up here to keep all this stuff. So, uh, Rock 3-in-1 eye cream on sale as well. And then I went over to uh, Dollar Tree, and they actually have some new products too. So, if you're looking for dupes, and you think... Um, you think you know what's over at Dollar Tree? You don't because they just got some new dupes in. The problem with Dollar Tree is that they don't label their dupes. Um, if you're lucky and the store actually puts out the promotional carton that the products came in, then they tell you what they're a dupe of. But otherwise, you have to know what you're looking for. And a lot of the time, and I do it all the time. I will pass by a product because it doesn't have, a, you know, it doesn't have a lot of promotions around it, and I just don't take the time to look at them if they don't. But they did have some products. Uh, this one I'd actually seen before. It's the retinol cream. And they have a whole bunch of different, uh, they have retinol, I think they have collagen, and a couple of other creams as well. Um, but they do have these, and these actually have been around for a little while. Uh, this is when we start getting into the new stuff. And if there wasn't something going ahead and advertising this particular face cream, I would walk on by. But this particular face cream is actually a product that was put out to be a dupe. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me, for the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and the Hydro Boost has uh, the cream, and then it also has the gel. This is a uh, dupe of the gel. So uh, take a look at the packaging. If you go to Dollar Tree and you see products in this packaging, uh, and they don't have their little promotional container around them, well, you will know because you've seen this video, that this is actually one of their dupes for the Neutrogena product. And it does look like the gel cream once you open it up. So, yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. A little bouncy gel cream. And um, if you're on a budget and you're having one of those months, and we all have, $1.25 for face cream is a really good deal. And then they did another dupe. Actually, they did one that I haven't been able to get a hold of yet. Um, the packaging is all glass. It's pink. And it's actually a dupe for the uh, Sephora, the Glow Recipe. I think it's Glow Recipe. Um, the skincare line with all the different glow products, watermelon products. Yeah, if you find the pink bottles made of glass, in Dollar Tree, then they are a dupe for that. Uh, 
Okay, so we were talking about this going ahead and being a dupe for the Neutrogena for the Hydro Boost line, and there are several products that are all in this kind of packaging. Um, the other packaging for the Glow Recipe is pink, it's glass bottles, and they have duped a couple of the products in that skincare line as well. They also have another dupe, I think both of these are by Pure. And I don't know who the Glow Recipe dupe is. Again, I couldn't get my hands on it. Um, the other dupe that they did was for Olay. And this is the, it says, compared to Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. So it's a hydrating moisture, hydrating moisturizer. And this one actually has better packaging. They actually tell you what it is is a dupe for this one doesn't have enough packaging it really doesn't no it does it says right here compared to neutrogena neutrogena hydro boost water gel so it does say right there on there and this one is a dupe for the Olay and uh, these are new products that are just coming out so they aren't you know uh, they may be good they may not be good but you know if you're on one of those budget months then it's definitely better than nothing so um i i haven't tried them yet i plan on trying them i will let you know what i think about them but i wanted to go ahead and let everybody know that they're out there and um i think that's probably the whole video and thank you and have a great day bye